with the first game, please. Mines at plus 105. Hosting Bayern's Conquerors in Gladbach at plus 245. The draw is at plus 270. Mines are minus 120 to score twice. Gladbach are now plus 160 to score twice. That has moved up from a starting price of plus 150. The under over is at two and a half, but it's minus 145 for us to see three goals, Kev. Yeah, I've got to tell you, Flash, I think that price for Mainz is a massive overreaction. Uh, I think, yes, they've won the last two home games. And yes, their form's improved generally. But there's still fragility there. And I think Gladbach, the big debate about, about them for weeks has been, they turn up in the big games. We know that against Leipzig, they beat them. Against Dortmund, they won. Against Bayern, they've won. And they haven't turned up necessarily in the smaller games. However, the caveat there is that they did recently go to Hoffenheim and win 4-1. And they played pretty well in that game. And I just think with Stindl on form, Hofmann on form, Turam playing, Alassane Player played pretty well against Bayern. I just feel like they're going to go one of two ways from here on in. They're either going to be able to mount a push for Europe or the whole thing will dribble away. But I just think this... The stylistic matchup for me works, and I can see guys like Stind, like Hoffman, doing damage against less mobile defenders like Stefan Bell or maybe like Alexander Hack. So for me, I think the plus 105 is too short for Mainz for the home win, and that plus 160 for Gladbach to score two goals or more sticks out like a sore thumb to me. Yeah, I, I think that, that means obviously we can't be an overreaction to Gladbach as well because going into the game last week, Gladbach were dog awful as well. We were questioning their attitude. I'm still going to question their attitude though because I think Mines will jump all over them and say, right, we're, you, you're coming here. Two questions. Is this a big game for Gladbach to get up for? And they're on the road. And Mines are like that rigid sleeping policeman that they are going to be strong. They're going to frustrate I just, can we trust Gladbach? I mean, that's the big one. Alex, can we trust Gladbach? You can trust Gladbach. This is Bundesliga. <clears throat> Not to score against Schalke, bottom place. Uh, to, sc- to beat after that Bayern Munich. Uh, to beat Dortmund. To lose points against Augsburg. Uh, this is Gladbach's uh, form. Ups and downs uh, all over the place. You, you, you can't trust them. But as Kev said, uh, plus 245 for uh, line for Gladbach is way overpriced, right? Uh, I wouldn't put my money on Mainz. I wouldn't put my money on Gladbach. So the best way to go is to go for the goals here. Because this is a game that we should see a lot of goals. Uh, Gladbach have a great attacking firepower. But they conceded in 14 from the last 15 Bundesliga games. Apart from that uh, one that I told you, 0-0 against uh, Schalke. Uh, The new name of Schalke is uh, 0-0 Schalke. Uh, not oh, yeah. 04. Um, so um, I think uh, I think an Alex Classic here is the best value bet. Uh, I, I think Kevin is going for the value again here, and he might be right because uh, again Gladbach has the necessary weapons to, to to score at least twice, no matter the opponent in this league. But how determined they will be? Yes, they will be full of confidence after uh, this uh, win against Bayern. I still don't think that uh, they will finish in top six in, and uh, qualify in, the, in a European competition. Uh, Mainz mid-table there, both on 29 points. And if you see also goals, uh, 38 uh, Gladbach scored, 33 Mainz, 35 and 34 conceded. So they both scored, they both concede. Alex Classic all the way. Yeah, it looks like a bit of a basketball match. Uh, the the big one is if you get glad back to score first, then that plus one sixty will be like minus two hundred because mine's at home. They will come and they will keep going, and Gladback will then be able to pick them off and. Uh, it's a really, really big weekend for Gladbach, to be honest, though, Kev, because all the fans last week were going into the game, questioning them and saying you've got to perform. They were starting to turn. Now if they beat uh, Bayern. If they then turn up against Mines and stick in another performance like they have done recently on the road, they, they're they going to turn on them, like, or get closer to turning on them. Yeah, well, I think that's why this game is big. And it's actually one of the reasons why I think Gladbach will do OK, because I think the pennies dropped with some of them. I think Lars Stindl has talked about that this week. Hoffman's talked about it. They're, they're beating Bayern's fine. That's one thing. 
but then you've got to go and follow that up. And I think there is a responsibility there. I think there is a feeling that it's not enough um, to just beat Bayern and then lose the next game. I think Turan being back as well is important. Got the goal against Bayern. That's his first goal of the year. It's been confirmed now that he's going to leave at the end of the season. And I actually think that clarity is going to help everyone, really. He's going to want to impress between now and the end of the season because he knows there are a lot of clubs that could be interested in him as a free agent. Uh, And there's no chance that Gladbach won't pick him. So uh, I think they've got lots of options here. And I I like Mainz a lot. I like Bo Svensson a lot. But they have got weaknesses, especially defensively. And I think Gladbach can get at them. OK, let's kick on because we've got seven games to go through and I've still got a La Liga show to go as well. Um, it's my uh, my problem because I then just want to keep talking about Gladbach getting beat. Um, let's have a little look at the official picks. It's Gladbach team total over one and a half at plus 160. For me, mine's money line at plus 105. And both teams scoring over two and a half at minus 110. So mine's win three, two. We're all happy. And you in the chat, we're very, very happy. Diguito says, I love mines over one and a half. Over one and a half is at minus 120. That's- 